Hi, I'm Brody. This is the making up video for the song that I wrote and produced with my younger brother Bryson in his newest video, Who I Am. If you haven't seen that video yet, please go ahead and do so. Or, you could stay here and watch a video about a song that you've never heard before. Ooh, sounds fun. About half a year ago, Bryson texts me late at night with an idea to write a song with him. This isn't the first time he's asked for music help. I'm the one who produced the theme song to his channel. This new song would be like a movie trailer for his channel. He wanted to have a pop song that used elements of his existing theme song. So, sleepy but excited, I got up, grabbed my uke, and noodled out a quick pop version of his theme song. You can hear how tired I am. <laughs> I sent that voice memo off to Bryson and he loved it. He sent back lyrics that could go along with that chorus and I knew that we were heading in a good direction. We knew that we eventually wanted to make this video, so we recorded a lot of our songwriting, storyboarding, and recording. You'll see some of that footage in this video. For lyrics, we made a list of quirks and traits that Bryson felt were important parts of who he was. He's an animal lover, he's a kind of a nerd, he loves art and family, and we wanted to show off these parts of his personality in the lyrics. During songwriting, it was especially hard to create a melody for the verses. It seemed like no matter what ideas I threw at Bryson, he wasn't having any of them. We gotta figure out like a good melody for Well, let me tell you a little bit about myself. No, I won't. Not that fast. Right. No, that, that sounds too much. Like, that sounds too much like the chorus. But thankfully, in a moment of clarity, we were able to come up with a melody that gelled well with the existing chorus melody and all the lyrics that we've written. Mm -hmm. Those are like your foundations for melody. Oh, well, we have some other. Some of the other background music we've made. Oh, you like that? And after all the blood, sweat, and tears that it took to get just one melody, Bryson had the audacity to suggest that we have a unique melody for every single verse. Gotta pick like our like a new one for each verse. Maybe not. In order to fit into a reasonable time frame, some good material had to be cut from the final product. But, as they say in French, c'est la vie. Here's some footage of us songwriting. It's the strongest element. Prepare to be deep fried. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you out in Smash Bros with speed, grace, and ease. Okay, take you out in Smash Bros. I'll take you out. I'll like Prepare to be demolished in 200 CC. <laughs> That's good. 200 cc. Demolished in 200 cc. Also, super funny story. Right after we finished writing the Harry Potter verse, one of Bryson's friends asked him if he was a fan of Harry Potter. Bryson took this opportunity to fully recite the verse that we just written as if it was a natural response. Yeah, I love Harry Potter. I just can't get enough. You know, I want to be a Gryffindor, but most likely I'm Hufflepuff. It would be so fun to cast spells and ride brooms. But in the end, my spells would probably spell doom. Bryson reveled in the fact that he'd successfully bamboozled this person. Also, pro tip for writing lyrics, straight from Haminations. Step one, write a sentence that you emotionally resonate with. And step two, Google words that rhyme with the last word of that sentence. Alright, time to plug water into the rhyme app. <laughs> Don't get sucked into that thing. But he did get sucked in. Blender, 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 Remember how I told you that Bryson wanted to use elements of his theme song in this new pop song? A fun fact is that every melody in this pop song actually takes inspiration from the theme song. This sheet music's from the theme song as we've already seen, but I'm going to highlight parts that the pop song borrowed from. The chorus uses the first and second phrase of the theme song. Hey, my name is Bryson, and this is who I am. I really like to make things. 
and the verses melody is based on the last three notes of the theme song. I really like to draw and make up my own world. Once we had a melody and lyrics that we were happy with, it was time to brainstorm how the visuals would accompany the music. Again, tons of great ideas were scrapped, but as the French say, baguette. Here's some footage from that session. I was particularly sad that we didn't use the lapping idea from Mario Kart. Their drive is and I take a cut with the mushroom. No, you're like lapping oh, oh. a sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you're just <laughs> lapping them every time you hit them. That's good. That's good. I like that. Maybe, like, imagination unfurled. I can throw the pencil and it morphs into a microphone and comes back to me and I. I also love to sing. And you'd be like, I want to use my skills to entertain you. Like pointing oh, to, yeah. the, to the I audience. like to use my skills to entertain you. It's like speed really quick. And then like grace. That's your <laughs> And then Andy's. I'll definitely be Kirby and Kirby will have my hair. Yeah, it's just and just Kirby, like if Kirby neutral me? beat yes. you. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. Like you're like drifting to like, mm, same thing for Mario Kart. Going into Gravity Falls, you can have like a lens flare kind of thing. Like, whew, I'd love to visit. Like as like your your flashlight crosses across the camera, and now you're in the forest, walking through the forest. Thank you. Yeah, so the ethereal Bryson's gonna go in. The visuals for the video game section of the song actually were inspired by VidCon this year. Over summer, I got to go along with Bryson down to California for VidCon. I enjoyed acting as the resident pack mule and photo monkey. While there, Bryson got to participate in a couple rivalry matches with fellow YouTubers. The Smash Bros section is based on when he publicly decimated his friend Aiden. Your Ness will destroy Mario, and then your Kirby, Kirby will destroy... Wait, isn't that, um, <laughs> isn't that the lineup that you won the, the VidCon tournament with? You uh, destroyed Aideni? You destroyed Adini's uh, With Kirby's side beat, yeah. <laughs> That's it, baby. Maybe like, I could recreate it. Yeah, that'll be because, it. Dude, it's, the guy screams so loud. I want to know who this was that, like, videoed this. <laughs> And the Mario Kart section is based on when he publicly decimated Brody Animates. Also, while we're on the topic, I love Brody Animates. He's a super sweet kid, we clicked really well during this trip. But it's the first time in my life where I've been in a group where somebody had the same name as me. Brody's a pretty unique name. And it was absolutely infuriating. When we arrived, Bryson introduced me to Brody Animates and I shook his hand. As I shook his hand, I stared deeply, unflinchingly, into his eyes. When I sensed that he started to fear for his life, I knew that I'd established dominance, and I named myself Alpha Brody for the rest of the trip. Thankfully, Beta Brody agrees with this title. And just like that, our song was written with lyrics and chords, and we had a pretty good idea of what the animation would look like too. Ah, oh, that's perfect. I'm surprised how well this is going. <laughs> hmm. Wow, Brody, I'm surprised you're good at music. <laughs> no, no. By this point, we had all our lyrics organized and written out, and so we moved on to my favorite part of the project, the arrangement. Because a lot of the lyrics deal with TV shows and video games that Bryson really likes, I thought it would be really fun to take inspiration from the theme songs of these shows and games as he sang about them. So, I got to listen to some of my favorite theme songs again, break them down to their essential parts, and use these parts in our arrangement. You can hear a major key version of the Melee theme song in the Super Smash Bros. section. The Mario Kart section obviously takes a page out of Mario Kart 8's arrangement style. The Harry Potter section uses the Celeste, a very iconic part of that movie's soundtrack. Avatar's use of world instruments really sets it apart from the other arrangements. And I just had a really good time rearranging the Gravity Falls theme. Another cool detail from the production is that there's a little flourish that the band does when moving to the B section of verses. This was not originally planned. What actually happened is that while I was showing off a rough draft of this beat, my phone chimed in with a notification from Google Calendar. Hold up. That kind of slaps. 
We were so impressed by this lucky moment that we decided to put it in. One tool I learned to rely on a lot more during this project was the arpeggiator. When you play a chord normally, all the notes play at the same time, just like would happen if you played on a piano. But if you use an arpeggiator, the computer will play these notes individually in an arpeggio. I wanted to have big sweeping strings for the Harry Potter section, but I didn't want to type all those notes out. So instead, I typed in some big pretty chords and I let the arpeggiator do the heavy lifting for me. Now came what was arguably the most important part of the whole song, Bryson's voice. I had a state-of-the-art studio set up for our recording session. This microphone in my college dorm's closet. Ah! I hear myself! <laughs> this is what I'd say! That's bad. Yeah. That's just bad. It's <sighs> like bad. I think that my videos are my imagination. Videos, that's unfurled. bad. And like you can let, let it loose on me. So you cannot beat me. Same thing for Mario Kart. You cannot beat me. <laughs> Excellent. Slap. Me hair to like be demolished in 200cc. He... Kinda slaps. Then please, unsubscribe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did that one wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you right there. I've had some vocal training in the past, and I wanted to give Bryson some of the same advice that I'd received. For example, did you know that it's very bad for your singing voice to cough loudly and repeatedly? So, try to avoid that. <coughs> try not to do that as much like... <coughs> Stop coughing like that. <coughs> that was bad. He also dared to question my honey knowledge. Bryson does not believe me that honey is good for the singing voice. Honey, one of the best foods to eat before singing. I accept defeat. Thank you. Recording is a very stressful process, and it took Bryson a while to get a good tone. All right, you ready? But after a little encouragement, he got a lot better. During recording, Bryson's phone started buzzing with a laundry alarm, and I frantically turned it off to save the take. But I totally forgot to tell him about it, and we didn't realize this until it was too late. Bryson didn't have clean underwear that night. All jokes aside, Bryson really hit his stride by the end of the session, even recording the Gravity Falls verse and the family verse in just one take. And that was our creative journey, going from a Google Doc and a voice memo to a fully animated and orchestrated music video. As I was editing this video, it was really funny to me to see some of the patterns and habits that Bryson and I have while we work. For example, whenever Bryson started to think a little bit too hard, he'd pick up his little wrist supporter and fiddle with it. As for me, when I'm thinking creatively, I cannot sit still to save my life but you probably already noticed that. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. I write my own songs like you've already seen. I cover songs that I like. I talk about cool quirks of music theory. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, I'm sure you'd like my videos. Also, before I go, I just, I wanted, I wanted to say I love you and I appreciate you. Thanks. Yeah, that was some good progress for today.